The first repatriation flight from India since the government's travel ban touches down in Darwin. The nightmare over for those on board, but the plane that arrived in the top end was only half full. Originally they were in excess of 150. That has almost, almost been halved. At least 40 people tested positive just hours before the flight was due to leave New Delhi. More than 30 others also told they couldn't fly after being deemed close contacts. My message to them is stay safe. Uh, Australians uh, care about our fellow citizens. And uh, the fact that uh, we'll continue to advocate uh, for their care. Uh, it was heartbreaking. Those lucky enough to make it on board were taken by bus to the Howard Springs quarantine facility. But thousands remain stranded in India amid the devastating coronavirus outbreak. This is extremely distressing for those Australians who have loved ones who are trapped overseas, some of whom have been trapped over there for more than a year. The opposition accusing the government of failing to protect its citizens. Scott Morrison should have kept his commitment to bring Australians home by Christmas. That was a breach of a commitment. A lot has been learned over the last 14 or so months about how to deal with this. There are now mutant strains that didn't exist or we weren't aware of them uh, 12 to 14 months uh, ago. So I don't think it's realistic to say, well, we could do something 12 months ago. Why can't we do it now? Another two repatriation flights are scheduled to arrive here in Darwin later this month, one on May 23 and another on May 30. But with almost 10,000 Australians still stranded in India, it's likely to be many months before they can all get home. For those who've arrived home, they'll spend the next two weeks in quarantine at Howard Springs. But health officials can't guarantee there won't be another pause to repatriation flights if cases rise again. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.